Hello and welcome to this video on how to inject custom word embeddings that maybe you trained in Gensim or Fast Text and injecting those into a spacey model so that you can then train a custom component off of those custom word embeddings. I have a video on how to do this in Spacey 2, but I've yet to actually do one for Spacey 3, so I thought I'd go ahead and walk you through the steps because they are a little bit different and you need to know the difference here. What we're working with is essentially a Jupyter lab. And within this directory, we've got a couple different subfolders here. We've got models where we're going to be kind of storing our models throughout this whole process. And we've got data. Within data, we have our train.spacey, our valid.spacey. This is important for the training process. And we've got our word vectors.txt. I'll come to this in just a second. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to take word embeddings that we've already trained and inject them into Spacey. So I'm going to show you how to go about doing that. The first thing we need to do is import Spacey. This is going to allow us to actually uh, use the Spacey functions in just a little bit. The next thing that we need to do is we need to use a terminal command within Jupyter Lab. You do that by using an exclamation mark. If you don't want to use Jupyter Lab, you can follow along and do everything in the terminal. Just don't use this exclamation mark. So what we're going to say is we're going to say Python m spacey so we're going to load up the spacey library and we're going to run the init command this can take a couple different arguments but we're going to run specifically the init vectors and that's going to allow us to then pass in some other arguments as well the first thing that we're going to do is pass in en and note that every time i pass a different command i have a space en indicates the language that we are working with in this case english if you're working with german you would use de so this is going to be your language the two letter code right there we have a space and the next argument that we're going to pass is the location of our txt file that has our word embeddings in this case it's going to be in data word underscore vectors dot txt and this file let's take a quick gander at it and this is going to look like like a typical word vec file. It's a .txt file in which you have on line one the number of words, so the vocabulary, and then the second thing is the dimension, so the quantity of uh, uh, dimensionality to each vector, and then each line after that, in this case the next 32,546, will be a word in the first position followed by a space, followed by the 10 dimensions of your word embeddings. This is what a typical word vec file looks like. This is not amazing. I made it 10 vectors so that it could be put onto GitHub so you can reproduce these steps in on your own. So that's what our word vec file looks like, but we need a couple other commands here. The next thing that we need to specify is where we want to drop this new model that we're going to create with a config file and everything. And we're gonna drop that in models backslash 01. If we look at our directory, we have uh, an empty directory right here. If you're pulling this off of GitHub, this will have something here. Go ahead and delete it and clean it out and go ahead and clean out models backslash O2 as well. The next thing that we need to specify is a name. This is optional. It's a keyword argument, but we're just going to call this en underscore test. Again, this is not necessary. We're going to execute that command. If you're doing this in the terminal, you're going to see some things printing off at this stage. This is Spacey going through reading in your word vectors.txt file and converting them into its own format. And it's creating the model uh, and it's going to be saving those word vectors as a vector file within the Spacey framework. If you're doing this in Jupyter Lab, it all gets printed out in one go. And we can see that the results were successful. We successfully loaded the vectors from the data word underscore vectors dot txt file. Great. That means that we can now load up our model because if we go over to uh, model 01, we now see that we have this area populated. This is our config file, our meta.json file. And if we go into vocab, we see our vectors. And if you look at it on your end, you'll see that the vector file is not your typical one kilobyte file that comes with your standard non-static vectored spacey file. Instead, it's your custom vectors now in spacey format. So let's go ahead and go back and load up that model and just take a look real fast. So we're going to say NLP uh, is going to be equal to spacey dot load. And we're going to load in models backslash 01, which is where our new model actually is. It's not really a model so much as just a spacey pipeline with some word embedding stored. Once we've got this opened, now we need to add to that pipe the components that we want to train. In this case, I'm interested in training a named entity recognizer. You can be training a classifier at this point. It can really be anything, but you're going to follow these steps. NLP.add underscore pipe. 
and you're going to add in a, a component that already exists. There's about 18 of them that you can add in here. We're going to add in an NER, and what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to save this new uh, updated model over the old one. So in this case, we're going to say NLP.2 underscore disk, which is the command to save in Spacey. We're going to say models backslash 01, and that's going to save it to disk. Let's go back now and take a look at models 01. We see that we actually have an NER component here. And if we open up the config file, this is important, we'll notice that we've actually got NER added to the pipeline automatically. So we've automatically not only created the config file from initializing the vectors, we've now added in the NER component. This is a little easier in my opinion than uh, some of the other ways that are documented in the Spacey documentation. The next thing that you need to do is you need to train your model, in which case you need to go back to the terminal, or if you're working in Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook, you can do it again in the cell. Our training data is already converted for you, and again, I'm providing this all on GitHub so you can follow along under data. Our train file is right here, our valid.spacy file is right here, and we're gonna be calling not only those two things, but the new word vectors that we have loaded in our model. So let's go ahead and run, we're gonna do exclamation mark, Python m spacey train. So the same things as before, but instead of init here, we're going to run train. And then we're going to specify uh, essentially where the config file is. So our config file is loaded, located in models. Let's go over here so you can follow along. Models 01 and then the config.cfg. So we're going to say models 01 backslash config.cfg. That's our config file. So let's go back again. And the next thing that we need to specify, again, this is a keyword argument, is gonna be output. And we're gonna have a space there and say models 02. That's where it's gonna save the best and last models. Next thing we're gonna pass is the path of the training data. So we can say paths.train here. It's important to have those two dashes, space, and then the location of that data. So it's in data train.spacey. Next, we need to specify the path of the dev file or the validation set. So we're going to do dash dash paths dot dev. And then we're going to say data backslash valid dot spacey. And I apologize for the zoomed in nature here. It means this is going to be a little longer and a little difficult to read. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And then the final thing that we need to pass, and this is important, is we need to pull those word vectors from our original model that we already created that has that vector file which is located in models 01. It's gonna be in vocab and it's gonna be right here. We need to grab that information. So all we have to do is we just have to specify the model. Spacey will handle the rest and go automatically find those vectors. So we're gonna say dash dash paths dot vectors with the space now models 01. So it's gonna go and grab those word vectors from the 01 pipeline. You're gonna execute that cell and what's happening now is Spacey's going through and doing all of its training. Again, because this is happening in Jupyter Lab, you're not able to see the results in real time, but I'm gonna pause the video and pop back after it's done. And our model is now done training. If we look down here, we notice that we have trained the NER component. And if we were to open up where we saved it, which is going to be under models, O2, we see that we have the model dash best and model dash last. If we click on that, we notice we have the NER component still. We've got under vocab our vectors still. We have now successfully injected custom word embeddings into a pipeline and then added an NER component that we then customized and trained. That's going to be it for this video. As always, thank you to everyone who supports this channel on Patreon. And now a new feature, if you want to support this channel, you can do it within uh, YouTube. By simply clicking on the channel, you'll now notice we have this join component right here, and you can join the channel and contribute however you feel best. Members um, receive kind of some custom little perks that they can use, like custom emojis and things like that. As always, I try to keep all of my content free for everyone. So being a member here is really just a way to contribute to the channel and help me keep this channel alive. Um, any contributions that you do give do go back into this channel. I'd like to thank my first supporter and first member, Jantin Nandwani. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. If I'm not, I sincerely apologize. As always, thank you everyone and have a great day.